hi guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to edit images like this in figma please don't forget to like turn on the notification bell and subscribe if you find any of my videos helpful so without further ado let's get right into the video so right here i have a new design file right i'm just going to go ahead to paste in the images we are going to be using which is these two images here um you want to make sure your images are PNG images with transparent background. And if you also want to know how to remove the background from your image in Figma, I have a video on that and I'm just going to put the link in the description. So I'm going to be working with the first image, which is this image here. So basically what I want to do is I want to have a background uh, on this image and let some parts of the image show outside of the background. So the first thing I'm going to create is the background. I'm going to select a shape which is maybe this ellipse shape here. And I'm just going to draw a shape around it big enough to cover um, the image. So I'm just going to make sure it's positioned just the way I want it, uh, something like this. And I think this is fine, um, but I'm going to make sure the, the image, but I'm going to make sure the shape is under the image layer. So I'm going to move it down um, from the image layer, which is this image four that we're using here. So once you've have this, basically what you want to do is you want to select both of this um, and use as mask to mask the image in the shape, just the regular masking um, method. But before you do that, I'm not going to hit command Z to go back. Before you do that, I want to duplicate this entire section. So I'm going to hold down alt and create a duplicate. Then I'm going to come back here, um, select this image and use as mask. Now, once I've used as mask, you'll see that the ellipse, that is the circle at the background is um the fill which is the color is no more visible so i want to be able to change the color of the background so to do that i'm going to bring in this ellipse um this ellipse that we have here from the duplicate we made i'm going to bring it down and i'm just going to fit it um where the initial circle was and just fit it perfectly just like this so this background is what we are going to be using to change the colors of um the background circle but now we also have something else we want to be able to make the image um pop outside of this um circle this background a little bit so to do that there's a couple ways you could do that but the way i usually do this um easily in figma i usually use photoshop and all to do this but recently i found um an easier way to do this in figma that won't really stress me so to do this i'm just going to go ahead and bring in this image that we duplicate here um, and this is the reason why we created a duplicate so that we can reuse this image i'm going to bring it back on this layer i'm going to make sure it's in front of this entire uh, clipped mask and i'm going to position it exactly where the um the original image is right i'm going to make sure it fits perfectly um with the with the initial image that have been clipped or has been used as mask once i've done that the next thing I want to do is I want to crop this particular image that we just brought in as the front layer. So I want to hide the parts where I want to use um, the mask. Let me just do this so that I won't sound very confusing. I'm going to hold down the command, come to the edge here, hold down command key and click and drag. You will see that we've hidden um, this part of the image and the masked part of the image is what is showing underneath here. So now you can feel that this image is masked, but then the head of the image is outside so you get this kind of effect here but as you can see we still have an issue we have like for the cloth here we still want the cloth to be outside of this circle but it's being cropped because of what we just did so to fix this what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this particular um image that's in front that we just cropped i'm going to hit command d to duplicate it and once i do that i'm going to extend it back the way it was right but i'm going to crop it now from the left to right so i'm going to hold command come to the edge here hold command and move it in until i get to where this um dress is so now we have this image showing just this dress we have this particular image that have um that's that have hidden uh, that we've cropped out to show this particular section so we have basically three images we have the original masked image um, which is this mask here we have this image which is the top and we have this here which is this so once we've achieved this you can see that this looks very nice like the images are out here and the edge is all 
um, curved out well once you've done this you want to select everything that you just did hit command g to group them then right click come to copy copy as png once you've copied as png you can now go outside of your board to paste it now you just have a single image looking all nice and beautiful just the way you want it so i hope you guys understand to to um, make this knowledge stick i'm just going to do the same thing for this second image here basically um we want to draw a shape it, it could be any shape you could you could um draw a shape like just a random shape um just the way you want it like i've seen images being fit into different shapes so you can have something like this um fill it with a different color and stuff like that but um i don't want to do that um but you could also do that um you could go to the community and get some really nice shapes and fit your image in it but i'm just going to be using the circle shape for this um again so i'm just going to draw out a circle um just like we did for the first one i'm going to fit it um in this image what i want for this image is for the arm and like the top of the head to like show outside of this so i'm just going to extend this a little bit um i think this is fine i'm going to click on the ellipse just as usual and take it below um the image i think it's image three we are using here so it's going to be behind um the ellipse which is the shape is going to be behind the actual image i'm going to select every single one of it hold option and create a duplicate because we're going to be using these um elements again right so once I've done that, I'm going to select this initial element, um, use as mask. Now we have the image inside it. We want to put our background back, right? So we want to put our background back. Um, now we can select. Now we can select this um, shape, which is the ellipse, and bring it back to where it's supposed to be. Um, just try to position it perfectly. And we can change the colors to whatever we want. I'm just going to select this particular yellow color here. Um, and as you can see, this image is like um, hidden here. So we want to pick this, the actual image back and replace it back to where it is. But we want to make sure it fits the exact position where um, the, the image that have been clipped as max is. Um, you want to make sure it's just perfectly positioned. Um, where the initial image is just like this so once you've done that once you've done that you want to crop out the parts where you want to be hidden and leave the parts that you want to show um outside of the circle so here this particular part we want it to still look clipped so i'm going to come to the bottom of this hold command click and drag to move it up once i've gotten to a position here where there's this intersection where i can easily show this arm i'm just going to stop there so with this you have this nice looking um image that shows like the image is clipped as a mask but with a background and some part of the image is showing outside of the shape so this is what we are trying to achieve um then you can select everything ctrl g group it in your designs you can actually keep using this group you don't have to um right click and uh, copy as png and stuff like that because maybe sometimes you might want to change the background color depending on your design so you can come here open up the group come to this ellipse tool and maybe play with the background color a little bit um something like this um something like this uh, but if you've set it as a png just like i did here if you've copied and pasted it as a png just like i did here you won't be able to edit the background color um and and that's fine if you're trying to like make the assets very usable for maybe the developers or something you can just make it this simple and send like the images to them um but if you want to keep on um, playing around with the background to see if it's something you can you can work with you can see keep this entire group here um and play around with the colors um just to fit your designs so guys um this is it um this is how you create um, this is how you edit images um, like this in Figma. Um, please, if you have a better way to to do this, you feel free to share in the comment section. Um, but this is how I usually do this in Figma. And I hope this video is really helpful. Um, thanks for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I will see you in my next video.